Pisces. It's Chronic Joy Tarot here, and we are going to do your sort of June 2018 reading here for Sun, Moon, and Rising Pisces, or anyone who's guided here, you're welcome, and you're supposed to be receiving this message. Um, this channel um, is mainly focused on you, your soul, and the way it grows, and different aspects of yourself that you can tap into at any given time um, to expand, okay? Now, um, what was I going to say? I, I have to apologize to you guys for being so distant and almost absent for so long, but it's really been an intense um, period for me. I keep saying that every time, and I keep thinking it's going to clear up, and then a new project lands in front of me and so my intention is always to be with you guys as often as I can and I love you and I thank you for coming back um and let's see what what the summer brings here what the new the next few months bring because I, I may be seeing the light here in my day gig so we'll see okay the oracle card that I'm pulling for you guys at this time Pisces is coming from this deck called soul coaching by Denise Lynn, what your soul wants you to know. I love it. And while I was meditating and shuffling off camera here and bringing in the energy of Pisces, I thought, I, I felt this sense of um, it, just a real depth of feeling, like just, just um, um, beautiful love from you guys. So I'm hoping that that pertains to our Oracle card here, which is the inspiration card. I am receiving divine inspiration right now. You know, continuing to create is so essential to our life and our survival and our growth. When we want to just sort of, um, you know, keep out new ideas and just keep things going along the status quo. It's very dull. It bring it makes for a very dull life and it and it kind of disconnects you, you know, from the creator it's, you know, itself, the the source of uh, spirit, God, whatever it is that you um whatever word you may apply to it, it's the same energy and that flow of life, right? Um so this being open to the support of the divine um, and staying open, you know, to new ideas, new thought, new ways. This is what the inspiration card is representing here. Okay. We're going to do a little bit in depth reading on that topic with the Zen tarot deck here. We're doing the flying bird spread point of liftoff is this card. This is where you are now. And then we travel between the wings and come to a new level of awareness. Okay, your starting point, Pisces, is understanding. So your perception of being separated from others is an illusion. Okay, um, staying open, keeping your heart, if you see these doves, they're at various heights in the sky, and this guy in the foreground feels like he's separated by these bars, but they're an illusion. See, they're dissipating and, you know, there's actually an opening between one. So there is nothing separating you from the divine or you from other spirits or other souls. We are all connected. It's all one. It's all one and the same. And staying open to that knowledge and then open to the gifts that spirit is ready to bring you and new ideas and you know inspiration staying open to that is going to be really important okay um this this left wing here on this flying bird spread is the um they represent these cards represent internal energies that are going on within you that you're aware of but others may not be or maybe even that you sort of hide from yourself sometimes um internal aspects of yourself and the first internal card here is called the fear of flying so it's a potential block to your progress to staying open to inspiration and that is the miser 
Yes. Okay, Pisces, if you spend your days holding all your riches and the best parts of you to yourself and not sharing them with others, then of course you're not going to have a sense of connectedness, right? You're going to have a sense of, of disconnection and um, that you're alone in this, right? And then the ideas don't flow. Whoops. The ideas don't flow. The new inspiration doesn't show up for you or your, your focus isn't attuned to it. And then you miss it. You miss the miracles. Time to open up a little. You have spaces within you, and we all do, that you've been holding back. Maybe you're a beautiful singer or a dancer and you just don't show anyone. You don't, you don't let anyone know. Um, let it out. Go for it. Maybe you have a special skill um, with children and you're just not sure how to even start to, you know, you don't have children and maybe you want to work with them, but you don't even know where to begin. Put yourself out there, right? Open that up. Oh, relax that um, tendency to hold it all in and keep it all for yourself. Share, open up. This is why we're here, right? To open up and connect with others. Okay, the net, this first card here on the external side, as a result, if you can master this, if you can get to opening up some of those energies that are held back, is the traveling card. You will see that along the course of life, you just are where you are, right? Like you might think, oh, I love to work with kids, but I don't, you know, no one's going to want me to, no one's going to accept me or, you know, I don't have the right credentials or something, whatever, whatever is making you, um, you know, withhold or feeling like you need to withhold, it's okay because along the course of your journey, right, you could be in one of those deep, deep valleys that are fogged in right now, but ready to climb the next peak. You know, if you look at your entire life as this one big crazy journey with peaks and valleys and forests and rivers and fog and sun and all that, you'll see that the big picture you know, always going toward the light, always going toward the light is the most important thing. But it's okay if you get stuck in the fog for a minute, right? You're going to start to see that the, um, the path and the pace of your particular unique life is exactly as it needs to be. It's happening for you, not to you. And every step along the way, you gain more and more wisdom. And that's when, when you open up to that divine guidance and allow yourself to be inspired and allow yourself to see things in a new way, it all becomes so much more satisfying. It really does. Okay, Pisces, your next internal card is politics. I've pulled this one a lot this month. This must be, we must be in a place and maybe this, um, maybe I'm not as in depth in knowledge of astrology, but it could be um, a planetary shift that people are becoming more willing to drop the mask, right? Maybe it's just an age thing. As we grow older, we're just less willing to hold back, right? We don't want to. This miser and the politics card go kind of go hand in hand right now. And they're both internal energies within you that you can ease up on. Okay? Share a little more. Show, Drop the mask and show people who you are. Um, allow yourself to be vulnerable. This is one of the most, almost, you know, almost, most, almost one of the most, excuse me, <laughs> challenging um, things to, to engage with is allowing vulnerability to be there, allowing the unknown to just be there. This is a tough one. We want to control. We want to achieve. We want to know every step that we're taking. And sometimes we just don't. And so as protection, we, we shelter up. We, we, you know, hang on to our inner riches. We mask ourselves up because it's protection. We're, we're afraid of being vulnerable and open to anything. But then you miss this. You miss the inspiration. Right? 
So there's a balance, right? We're, and you are a, a divine human being and you're doing your very best. We all are. Um, but there is a balance to find in this. And once you start tapping into that, you know, divine inspiration, it's kind of hard to ignore it after a time, right? You're, you're wanting more and more. As you go through your days, be sure to embrace every moment. As this figure is walking through the forest, she's literally, look at her beautiful rainbow gown. I love the artwork on these. She's literally engaging, she is becoming part of the tree right? She's fully experiencing this tree. She's not just walking past it and saying, oh, its leaves are turning color. She's in it. She's in the tree. The tree's embracing her. She's feeling its rough bark. She's watching the leaves drop down to the ground. It's a full immersion into her experience. And this is both of the traveling and the experiencing are in your external world. So, and I love that because the traveling is a broader viewpoint and the experiencing is a more grounded in this moment experience. So this is important. It's going to be important to continue down your road fully in every moment and knowing that there's just, there's a lot of road behind you and there's a lot of road ahead. And, and But staying fully immersed in every moment. That's where the inspiration comes. Is that, that um, groundedness and that openness, right? That we all want to try to achieve. There's a little bit of internal adjustments to make, but you got this, Pisces. You got it. Look at that stress. I'm going to say that this is an energy to um, be aware of but it can be avoided by these two by these two actions by opening up your heart space sharing your gifts with others dropping the mask showing up exactly as you are will help you to avoid stress staying open to the divine brings new ideas new ways of seeing things and minimizes the stress or you'll find a certain energy within you that reminds you of stress, but it feels actually really good and, and inspiring and productive. It's not really um, stress that bogs you down, but I'm feeling really the, the main way to read this is um, you'll avoid it by opening up on these lower levels, okay? And then the um, outcome card here is control. Another one, this is another one. I like this too. Coming to the realization that you really have no control over circumstances, over others' behavior, um, over outcomes. You don't have any control. You have control in every moment of how you show up, right? Of how open and aware you stay and remain. That's what you have control of. You have control of your own heart and you know what you choose to share with others and this is maybe the the entire lesson for this reading is that yeah we don't have control trying to achieve control leads to stress because you know let's just say you're in the ocean and the waves are coming the waves are coming hard and fast and you're trying to stop the wave stop the wave stop the wave with my body right how impossible is that, right? But if you just ride it and go with it, and oh, here comes a big one, okay. And here's a couple smaller ones, I got these, you know. Ride it out. This is part, kind of like the journey of your life. It's like the waves. If you try to stop and push against and make them stop, stop the current of this ocean, it's impossible. That creates the stress, right? So gaining that knowledge and and really staying open to you know the miracles that are coming at you every day as far as new ideas new ways inspired ways of seeing and doing things staying open to all of that will bring you to the realization that i don't need to control anything right i can take that next wave and ride it as far as i want and then find another right there's there is a freedom in that. There's a freedom in relinquishing that need 
to, um, you know, manage and control every single thing. Lovely wisdom. I think I, um, I actually have my moon in Pisces and, you know, that is your internal, that is how you see yourself internally. That's your connection to your inner self. And I am a Pisces moon. And I love this reading for me and, and my inner world. Really, it's really good. Lot to be, lot to be gained. All right, I'm going to sign off now. I love you guys so much. And if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm there, Chronic Joy Tarot. Um, otherwise, I will see you on the next YouTube video. Okay, I love you so much. Take care.